Hey everyone, welcome. So we're going to be doing a relationship reading for, it's a collective read, so the sign doesn't matter. I'm going to be getting a couple oracle cards for you versus them, and I'm going to clarify with tarot. Um, I'm going to first just cleanse the energy really quick. Okay, so let me just get to shuffling. Happy Friday, everyone. Or I've actually been trying to learn German, so um, for looking Freitag. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, so I want to get energy for your side of things. Um, what's the energy on the collective side? Let's see. Please give me energy for the collective. Okay, yeah, okay. You could be having issues manifesting a relationship or... Tell the universe exactly what you want. Challenges. Make a, deci make a decision. Work on inner healing with challenges. So there could be a challenge coming. Like I'm getting a mountain to overcome. There could be a choice. Um, it's kind of giving me lover's energy from this. You could feel like something is impossible. It's never coming in. It's not going to work. Um, something like that. I'm going to get some karmic energies that could be popping up on your end too, collective. Okay. So what is this, what is this energy with the manifest in reverse? Is someone attacking you spiritually or something? Someone's name could be Chance. Oh, I just saw a red robin. Or a red, um, it was actually not a robin, sorry. It was a, um, what are the red birds? Oh my God. What are the red birds? Cardinal, there we go. <laughs> Cardinal. So I don't know if a cardinal means anything to anyone. Maybe it's a last name. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's your favorite bird. Okay, so what's the karmic energy for the collective, please? Okay. Whoa. You have some sort of crazy feral narcissist. Um, I just felt like a spiritual attack. That's why I mentioned it. With the manifest in reverse, it's almost giving me someone is trying to challenge you. Oh, no, it is a Robin. So someone, you know, maybe someone's name is Robin or, um, or, yeah. We have red flag. Troll. There's someone attacking you. This could be online. Okay. Okay, over the challenges was the shadow in reverse. Someone is hiding. They're either hiding their intentions or they're hiding something that they're doing. I'm going to find out what this is in a moment and why it's affecting your relationship. Now, I want to get the energy for your person. What's the energy for your person? Oh. Pregnancy, someone's expecting an air sign in the reverse. So air sign, um, so maybe it's, maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but there's a, someone could be pregnant. So I don't know if it's good or bad. I mean, like if it's good, yay, congratulations. <laughs> um, we'll find out more. Maybe the air sign. So air is like, um, it's like a dreamy kind of, um, very intuitive, um, creative car and they're very analytical too. So maybe if someone isn't thinking clearly right now, maybe someone isn't speaking. Okay. What's the karmic energy? Wow. There's a lot. Okay. So we have jealous at the end of the deck. What is with the jealous karmics this week? It's like, it's coming out so much. Simp. Oh my God. What is going on here? Triggered. Okay. Your person has someone in their energy. So pregnancy. Okay. So it could be, it could be literal. This could be a pregnant person. And also it could be, it says someone is expecting. 
So someone here could be expecting this behavior from someone because I'm getting someone's massively triggered right now. Um, looks like by you. And I feel like this is the person that's sending you energy. We have simp here. So this could be, um, this simp card could mean, I mean, it could be this person simping for you, or it could mean that this person's mad that this person's simping for you or something. So I don't know if this guy, if this person is like a baby mama, the Oracle, Someone here could be, you could, or, you know, okay, let me try and take this positively for once. Okay, so this person could want to make you pregnant or other way around, you want this person to make you pregnant. <laughs> um, someone here knows something here with the Oracle. Like if you see a rainbow too, think of Archangel Raziel. All right, but to keep going, yeah, self-care. I'm getting very feminine energy from this side. So this could be you, Collective, or if you're a feminine influencer, yeah, self-care, the oracle. So someone's, you know what, too, with this pregnancy card, it could just be like you're in a very creative mindset, okay? Also, if you are pregnant, like I said, congratulations, that's amazing. But um, this is very interesting, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, what is going on? I'm not getting there's no contact, but I will pull no contact messages just in case there is some sort of situation going on like that. Um, I'm actually feeling quite happy about this energy, so I don't, I feel like whatever energy someone's sending, it's not doing anything. So, fuck it, right? All right, I don't know. So, whatever. It's just a troll, let it go, you know? And that's kind of what I was telling Virgo earlier this week because they have someone that's been following through like lifetimes that's trying to like send them energy all the time and like Virgo I just told Virgo just to let it go if you just let it go they can't really do shit anymore like you know what I mean if you just act like I'm bothered the ancient art of not giving a shit <laughs> okay so we have the five of wands reverse with the sun in reverse and this is on your person side Someone could be repressing their emotions for you. There's some sort of pessimism on this person's side, perhaps due to someone on their end being pregnant. Um, I don't know. This could be why this person's triggered. Okay. Five of Wands in the reverse, conflict, resolution, adaptation, and revision. So there is some sort of conflict resolution coming into the situation. Um, I didn't really ask any questions yet. So uh, what is this? Hold on. Can I, I want to get energy on this pregnancy card because I'm like, I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Found it. <laughs> Four of Wands, divine coupling, homecoming, commemoration. So maybe this is, I mean, this could be a literal amazing pregnancy that's coming in for someone. Um, in the future, I'm kind of getting, because the Four of Wands is like, um, it's almost reaching a goal. It's like almost there. You see how there's a doorway? So this is like a possible doorway for, for someone to get pregnant. Um, this person may have had a dream with the air sign in reverse about you getting pregnant, or this is you. Okay, so um, now that I got that, this could also just be someone is expecting for something to really go well, and I'm getting that it is, but there is a challenge here with the Ten of Swords, okay? Someone is very serious about you here, though, with the King of Pearls, like, okay, how is um, Collective feeling about their person right now? What's going on? Okay, so these kind of came out like a challenge. So two of cups, ten of, oh shit. Oh my God. The tower's here. Okay, hold on, here we go. We have the tower, right? It kind of came in like sideways. So I'm gonna take it sideways just like, cause it didn't, if it's not completely upright, I know that there's some bullshit going on with it. So, and it's the tower probably, but here we have the chariot. So there's at, things are moving forward, but it's not here yet is kind of the feeling I'm getting from this. We also have the 10 of per Look at the pregnant chick. I'm telling you, someone's going to get pregnant or something like, uh, and if you don't want to get pregnant, you may want to like wrap it up or something, you know, cause some, something's going to happen here. Okay. So 
Oh my God. So we have the 10 of pearls with the knight of pearls. Like this person wants to give it to you. They want to give it to you hard. <laughs> Sorry. The two of cups. All right. The two of cups. Um, this could be a same sex relationship too. For those of you who aren't getting pregnant or whatever. Uh, I mean, maybe you are, maybe you are, you'll be a, um, whatever. A what you call it. I don't remember the name. Surrogate. There we go. A what you call it. Um, you're also looking extremely delicious right now. Extremely delicious. Um, your hair could have grown longer recently. Um, you could have lost some weight. Um, I don't know. Someone's looking like breedable is what I want to say. I usually don't use that word because I'm like, but there's some sort of disappointment going on in your person's end. This could just be they could be seeing you glow up right now. They could be seeing all this stuff happen to you and it could be making them a little bit nervous. And also, what is this triggered? I gotta find out what this is. I gotta find out. What is this triggered? Who is triggered? The world in the reverse. Okay. So... I have a couple, I have a couple, um, things that this could be. This could be a, a cycle that's not closed on your person's end, um, with a, some sort of karmic energy, or this person is doubting themselves. They're doubting something. They may have, okay, if someone has, like, seen, if this person, um, has somehow seen you guys in the future, or, like, seen some sort of vision, or they, they've been fantasizing about it or something, they could be, like, um, freaking themselves out. I'm kind of getting like a cold feet energy from them. So, um, why does this person have cold feet? That's what I want to find out. Death, transmutation, transformation endings, because inevitably collective, what would happen here is this would be a massive change for this person. Like so many things would need to change in order for this to work out is what I'm feeling. I feel like this person feels like it's unobtainable, like like they're on the bottom of the, of the ocean and like the, in order to get to the top, it's like so much, it's so much uh, work, it's so much swimming. They might not know if they have enough air in their lungs in order to get there. Um, but with that, I say, if you don't try, you're just going to sit there on the bottom of the ocean floor and die without doing anything. And like, how is that? Why would you do that? <laughs> like, why would you? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like not even trying. It's like, well, I could go to the top, but I think I'm just gonna sit here and die. So, um, you know, sorry. Um, it's too to me light. <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to like stick German in with what I'm saying. So like I can get used to it, to hearing it and to saying it. Um, but yeah, so it's like someone here is just like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give up. And, uh, you know, that's just what they're going through right now. Let's find out. Are they going to give up? No, they are not. We have the Six of Cups, okay? This person sees you as a soulmate. They see you as... And look at the baby. There's like a literal baby on this card. There's a baby. It's out. It's out of the body. Here it's in. And here it's out. <laughs> This person wants to breed you. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'm also seeing rainbows again. So like I said, Archangel Raziel. Um, I'm also seeing like a really nice vacation. Um, so some of you could also be married or you're going to be married or you could be like about to get married and then go on a, uh, some sort of, what am I trying to say? Um, what's the things that you do? After, oh, honeymoon, there we go. <laughs> you could, why is my brain not working? You know what it is? It's too much, it was too much information today. I'm having like brain overload. Um, but anyway, here, I feel like you're gonna, if you're going on a honeymoon, you're gonna get pregnant, like, like that. <laughs> it's like, no joke. So, if that's what you're planning to do, go for it. I'm also seeing jasmine flowers, so... I personally love jasmine, uh, jasmine essential oil. It smells so fucking good. I actually made my own spray with it. Um, I, I do actually sell it on my shop and I, I put all that information down below, but 
I mix it with, I mix jasmine and tonka together and it makes this like really nice deep but like flowery sexy smell. It's really nice. Um, so anyway, do I even need to keep digging here? Like I feel like this is really good collective and I'm really happy we have this but I don't know why this triggered energy is, is giving me like third party. Spirit, is this, is this triggered energy a third party or what is this? What is this? Yeah, the magician in the reverse. This is someone who's like hiding behind something. This could be, so first of all, this could be like an ex or like a baby mama of this person that already happened or I don't know. They could be trying to manipulate this person into like shutting their mouth to not talking to you or something. That's, that's what I was going to do. I was going to get no contact messages. But also, if you were getting married to this person, why would they not be talking to you? So for some of you, this is probably some other like storyline here where you're not married or something and they're going to make you pregnant on accident or something. But um, actually, let me keep going with this. I'm going to get my I Know You Oracle and we're going to find out who this third party is because I know it's here. I can smell it. I can smell the smelly third party. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's three. Okay. Yeah, this is a third party. There's three people. Okay. All right. You know, the third party may have even seen you pregnant with their kid. Which would be even more funny about this like entire situation. So what's with this third party? What do they look like? What are they doing? Yeah. This person could be using reverse psychology as well on this person. Oh. Yeah, because we got psychology in the reverse. And that was the magician in the reverse. It's some sort of manipulative tactic. This person could be like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go I don't know if this person, okay, so for some of you, this person might have like an open relationship or something, or this person knows that this person sleeps around or something, and they're kind of like using this like manipulative thing where they're like, yeah, go ahead, go see a collective, it's fine. I, I don't know what they're planning though. This person's very immature, like in not a good way though, especially with the psychology in the reverse. Um, this person could be going to college maybe, I don't know. And the, something about jewelry. I'm also seeing a snake though. Yeah, I'm getting a ring. So this person could be married. This is very strange. This person could have like a pearl necklace as well. What is, tell me more about this person. They could have wavy hair. An empathetic, hold on a second. I'm seeing a cross on this woman's thumb. So this person could be actually religious as well. And there's nothing wrong with that, but like, you know, a lot of these like quote unquote religious people, they'll like not, and not to shade on not, no shade uh, with religion, but like some of these, some of these religious people, they'll like go home and do dark magic. It's really weird. It's really strange. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're doing the thing that you say people go to hell for. What are you doing? But that's how it is. And they go back and they, you know, they say to the confessional booth, they go, oh, Father, I've sinned. You know, I, I did some black magic. And Father's like, yeah, I mean, just like go do some like Hail Marys and just don't do it again, you know? And then it's forgiven, right? All that bad karma is forgiven. Fuck no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not the way the universe works. Okay, so I'm going to get some no contact messages from your person. I don't know what's going on with this third party. They're weird. Whatever they're doing is boring and it's not working is what I'm getting anyway. Because we have the six of cups here. Like, like, mm. all right. So can I get some no contact messages for the collective? Wow. This person has a lot to say. All right, I'm just gonna, that's it. <laughs> Alrighty, so you are the one and only. 
I wish you would knock on my door. Aw. So they can make you pregnant? <laughs> yes. The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. This person knows something. You guys could have past lives together. They put it, like, they've been dreaming a lot about you, is what I'm getting. This person, like, can't wait to go to sleep because then they can see you in their dreams or something. Um... And then we have, I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. So that's what I was getting with the cold feet. This person is just dealing with some, I don't know if this person has, I want to say they have like a, they're afraid of commitment just a little bit, which is strange because I get that they're, they could already be committed. Um, and that, that in itself could also be the fear. You know, if there's like someone else in their energy, even if it's just like a past baby mama, that could really affect how they push forward with you because they're kind of like, well, if that fucked up, what if this fucks up? You know what I mean? Like that kind of energy. I hope the future will bring us together. So this person is rooting for the future to bring you guys together. I feel like I'm just getting an uncertainty with them. It's like, I don't know if they're uncertain things will work out, if they're nervous about... <sighs> Here's the thing though. This is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. If they're so hoping to be together with you, if they're so like this and that, then they could just make it happen. They don't need to hope. They can just do, right? It's it's like the being afraid to survive living on the bottom of the ocean floor and drowning. It's like, yeah, I'll just don't worry about it. I'll just drown down here. It's it's all good. I mean, I would hope that I would live, but mm, <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, if you don't want to... And that scares me about this person. Like, if they're just, did they give up? Or are they just like, oh, the, here's this person's doubts. Okay, these are the doubt cards. There's more, there's more uh, hope than doubt. Just so please know that before I read these, because these can be kind of like mm, gut-wrenching a little bit. But like, this person has a lot more positive thoughts about you than negative. And I just got a notification about something being right around the corner. So this could be happening like very, very soon. Okay. But this is what happens when this person goes silent, when this person goes cold, it's because they're doubting themselves. They're doubting that they're going to let you down. That is their ultimate fear is fucking up with you because they fucked up something before or something. I don't know, but we have, we need to let each other go. I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. So this person could have even rejected you at some point. Um, but it was, they were trying to like protect themselves in like some weird way because you're, you are very unlike anything they've ever dealt with before. You're very like different to what they've, they thought rejecting you would make them yes. In a way they thought it would make you kind of, I don't know if they wanted to make you feel less than, but it was more like they wanted to feel they were in control of the situation. So that's why, I mean, this person could have control issues maybe like, you know, especially if this person has some sort of triggered third party that's always causing problems. It's like with you, they could potentially, it's because you will respect their boundaries. And that is why that happened. Because, you know, if they rejected you, you'll be like, okay, fine. I mean, I mean, what it is, what it is. Like, if you, if you don't want me, then that's fine. But you'd probably be like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, why are you still here? <laughs> right? So, yes. Okay. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. I'm going to ask one more question because I'm getting energy here. What's I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you? I knew this was going to come out. This is why I said this. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. I saw this at the bottom of the deck and I was like, I saw the contact card. This is a twin card right here. This is a twin, twin flame card. High level soulmate card. Do you see these two people and like the, the light in between them? 3D contact, interdimensional beings. But this is also, so 3D contact, oh my God, sorry. Could also mean like, together and here on earth but i'm also getting 5d so i don't know if the person who made this deck didn't understand what the 5d was but i think they did um i'm gonna read this real quick so you guys can 
have some happy feels for you because I feel like you know, this person could be, they, they could do this sometimes and you're just kind of like, you're like, kind of like, bro, do I even have the book? Where am I going? I don't know if I have the book guys. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I do. I think. How do you open a box? What is wrong with me? Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the book. Either way, I'll just talk about this card and what I know about it, all right? So, this is, like, connected soul energy. Like, you guys can even, you guys could possibly see them in you. Is that the right way to put it? It's like, sometimes when you think of yourself or them, it's like you're seeing both of you, to, like, as in the same body. Is that... Yes, that's what I meant to say. Okay. So, um, you could kind of be like, it's kind of a weird thought, but like if you're twin flames, that's essentially what it is anyway. But you guys could be telepathically communicating as well. This person could be trying to send you messages. You could be like occasionally getting like, um, like right ear uh, ringing. Oh, the Robin's looking at me. Hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> This is so cute. <laughs> the other day, like one of them like ran into my window and I was like, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> well, it was so, it was, yeah. Anyway, um, you could be having a very special connection with animals even right now. Like, I don't know if animals like come up to you or listen to you. Um, maybe you're someone who works with animals. Let me just get one more card too. Can I get more? Yes. King of Swords, I'm seeing him, yes, okay. I'm getting the air sign in reverse again here with the King of Swords in reverse with egotistical, egotistical, decisive, and stoicism. So I feel this person is trying to give off a very stoic nature right now and they could be kind of very serious or maybe not like laughing as much or it's because they're nervous. It's like, it's like that feeling someone gets before they're about to get married, even though you guys aren't getting married or it's, it's nothing like that, but it's like this person feels a pressure to like get shit done. Um, and that's very air sign. Like my dad was an air sign. So like whenever he is an air sign, rather he's not dead, but whenever there was something really stressful going on, he'd get this like really serious look on his face and he would be like, like all on his head and he'd be like, okay, we got to do this. Kids shut up. You know what I mean? Like we gotta, <laughs> he wouldn't be mean. He would just be like, Kid, no talking. I gotta, I gotta think and like we'd just be in the car and we'd have to be quiet because he was like thinking and like on how to solve something, you know what I mean? Um, but this is the energy I'm getting from this masculine here. Okay, so whether they're feminine or masculine or I, I don't know, but I'm just getting this person is a masculine and this is their energy right now and they're very, they're very much in their head. That's why they're not speaking, it's because it's all up here. It's like locked, locked away, they're trying to figure it out because they're using logic for love, which is, doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. So this is the event horizon for this person. This person is doing a lot of shadow work. You see how it was like, I'm working on myself twice. That came out twice. This person is working on themselves. Whether it seems like they are or not, it doesn't matter. You know, like I say, the less you focus on the small things with this person and keep your eyes on yourself, your own journey, and you know, the things you're doing, um, for the, it's for the better. It lessens the energy, the pressure on this person so that they can do their own shadow work and not have to like stress out about you in particular, if that makes sense. Um, inner illumination, reformation of thoughts. This person has changed their mind about you as well. And that's, what's freaking them out is they're sitting there thinking they're like, they're like, I can just see someone being like, Oh my God, I think this is my person. And they're just sitting there like, how the fuck do I make this work? Especially if they have like a whole bunch of other shit going on. It's kind of like, they're like, I'm going to have to do this and this and this. Like, I'm just getting someone who's like literally planning five years in the future. This person could like almost live in the future, you know, and this is kind of their problem. And now I'm at 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you guys have a nice Friday. Bye.